Welcome to another match of FFT Arena Scrims. Today's combatants are Nucus up top with his new team Moose facing off against the Cheats new team, the Vault Hunters. Nucus's team consists of Bertha, the item bot archer, Merva, the other item bot archer, Michelle, the support priest, and Michael, the statusing priest. Facing off against the Cheats new team, which consists of Roland, the monk with draw out, Brick, the draw out paladin, Mordecai, the singing archer, and Lilith, the support summoner. First match today is going to take place in uh, map number 38, Gog Machine City. Good luck to both of these new teams, and I hope this showcases your teams well. We have the cheat in the black and Lucas in the green. We're going to start off with a quick shot out of one of the archers. The auto potion is going to take place of a retaliatory shot. And hastily again being popped out from one of the monks, while the second archer goes for another 57 damage, which again gets auto potion. Knight is out of range. Summoner is in range to do, I believe, a holy. Kind of hard to tell so far. We got one of the priests. Going for Shell to nullify that damage or mitigate it. The second one goes for a holy of his own. The 194 does put it in a critical before the damage split, of course. Archer, 185 damage. Couldn't quite see who he took down. Uh, I believe it's an archer for the enemy team. So we got some Phoenix down action to bring him temporarily into the fight and a quick high potion to bring him up to health. Summoner is in range for the cheat. And for yet another hole. And all of that rezzing and healing was for naught. At least until this res 2 connects. More holy spam as well as a raise 2. 194 back in the critical. More damage split. And everybody is back to full strength. Paladin is still out of range. And Monk can do some chakra to bring her HP and MP up, back up. 132 damage puts one of the male priests in critical. And he'll ca catch a quick high potion. And wait for an 80 damage gunshot. Putting the priest back into critical. And keeping Yukis' team on the defensive. We have more spells out of the priests. Monk is in range for Wave Fist, but it does get blocked. Summoner finally drops her. And we get a Holy Heal for 194. And it is now a 4 on 3. And the Archer has put one of the priests into critical yet again. Paladin's finally in range, does not have any buffs to take out with a Chaos Blade, but does some s significant damage anyways. Anti sandbag out of the blaze gun. Quick revive to bring her back into the fight. At least until this corresponding holy goes off. And then Archer isn't quite able to deny the holy. And we have a holy and a leader to keep Mucus's team into the fight. And there's still a 4 on 3. Pull Murray onto the Archer to poison and blind him. Second archer is out of range. 95 damage, does get damage split. Not significant damage out of the blaze gun archers at this point. And the haste are starting to wear off from the. Uh, ooh, get a quick counter out of a blaze gun. Again, the damage is not significant, but every little bit's going to help. We get, I believe, a shell too, as well as a holy to drop the summoner. Protect. Not going to do a whole lot for the type of team he's facing. And auto potion once again is saving the cheats units from taking any real damage. More haste to regen, more high potion action. Keep HP up, multiplied by the poison, and we are in a revive spam loop for the cheat. Nikos is holding his own quite well. Drop one of the priests who does have re raise, the other one is in critical, and 
both of them will holy themselves to keep them up and running. Up to seven damage drops the summoner for like the millionth time. And haste and regen action out of the pal. And he doesn't have a lot to do other than keep all of the rest of his units hasted. Holy heals. Again, not a significant damage due to the fact that they're male priests, but it's enough. More revives. We well, should get anti sandbagged very easily. 132 damage drops one of the priests to about half health. This combo should help. And indeed it does. Doing about 90 damage to one of the archers, who isn't going to revive his friend and instead is going to wait on the priest counterpart to do so. Archers begin to sing for the first time. 57 damage, yet again. Uh, the damage output is really lacking so far for Lucas's team and it's starting to show. Uh, they're heavily reliant on holy display. As the archers just don't do much of anything. Uh, Archer doesn't even get his song to go off in time, instead decides to attack. And we have more back and forth between both sets of archers. The way fist action, 138 damage holy, which the monk should be able to just shrug off. Damage split, 46, more holies. And the monk yeah, isn't even in critical, regardless of the damage split not happening the second time. Talon is still out of range. Monk is going to wave fist instead of trying to revive the summoner. He's down to a one count. So it's a three on three. But the damage output from the cheats archers are going to significantly outweigh Lucas's archers. And instead of raising his priest friend, he's going to go for a holy which doesn't even kill the monk. Very poor choice right there. As the archer for the cheat just keeps plucking away. Paladin decides to finally drop one of the archers. So it is a uh, two on three, I believe. Math oh, and race two has missed. Highly unfortunate. Knight is. The Paladin is slowly getting back into range. Monk has his choice of crystals to choose from. Battle Song is actually a three on one, my mistake. He's going to go for another raise two. Paladin is going to move forward one. And a quick 88 damage shot from the Archer. Raise two, so it is two on three once more. They might actually be able to revive the Archer to make it an even match. More haste and regen action. Key Mori. Not going to do a whole lot to that priest, but a little bit's going to help from Poison Ticks. He is now in critical, and poison will kill him, so that was quite effective. He does still have his re-raise, so it won't be instant quite yet. Although, again, I know the whole instead of reviving the archer is quite a poor choice. It looks like it should have gone off, too, as well. More archer spam. He's now a permanent three on two, as we wait for the male priest to revive and holy himself. Move into the other and keep them in the fight as long as they can continue to heal themselves. However, they're just not going to be able to do the damage to so knock out the cheat's army at this point. 132 damage knocks him back into critical. Monk is going to continue to hang out, as is the Paladin. It's the region action, they're going to slowly move forward. However, the height advantage for this longbow archer is definitely helping out. I'm going to go for another raise two, and that one missed as well, so that's quite unfortunate. That's two out of four, I believe. Half of them have failed. Paladin continued to get in range, waiting for another raise two. Monk really needs to go on the offensive rather than just hanging back. I can't quite figure out why. Oh, and that is yet another raise two that has failed. Everybody is trying to buff themselves up. 143 damage shot out of the archer, and Paladin is in range. 214 damage to drop the priest. Round one goes to Decheat. Round two between Mucus and Decheat is going to be taking place on map number 113, Horror. This is a deep dungeon map. And it is raining, as I have not upgraded my arena set yet. I probably should have. You know the two teams, let's see how they do in a smaller match. The brain shouldn't affect anything. Um, the damage output could be relatively similar. More haste and regen action coming out for the cheat as we just this team tries to snipe. And the auto potion is going to destroy it all that off. More haste and regen action, everybody's nice and hasty. And we move forward. We get one holy onto the archer. Reverse, reverse. Should drop him. Oh, the 
unfortunately, we're not able to kill that archer. Uh, I'm up and running, continuing to buff up everybody's PA. I'm up and some rain, but it'll help the rest of the units. Seven damage, deals more than hurt. The paladin is into range to remove a re-raise with a chaos blades. More holies it should be enough to drop the summoner with her higher faith. And the longbow archer has taken down one of the priests. Nine four damage split. Because she didn't catch the second holy, she's able to continue the assault. Monk continues to hang back. Getting two units. Archer's going to revive the priest buddy. Paladin is going to remove the second re ray. Oh, nope. Did enough damage to kill him, but doesn't remove the re rays. A little different. Longbow Archer is going to continue to try to drop down. That same bag, but it's going to fail to the innate weapon guard. It's fully healed. Both priests. So I can get holy from the summary as well. One. Maybe holy number two. And holy number three. You might not like it much. 214. Doesn't quite kill him. Longo Archer decides not to drop. Archer for Lucas instead is going to try to buff up the rest of the team and Paladin is going to go for Kill Mori again rather than try to drop that Archer. High potion for 157. And Summoner going for yet another holy. Battle Song buffs up everyone's PA. It's going to make that Paladin quite dangerous with him so he decides to get somebody. We've got an Asuna and a holy coming out. 14. Blocks the archer shot. 194 drops the summer into critical. And Asuna has missed, so the next poison tape will kill that archer. Chakra action from Vot. And 76 damage from Archer Age Max. And the Amori was in darkness onto one of the priests as well. High potion archer is going to continue fighting for his life. 185 damage and the cheats archer decides to have another. Leviathan showing up. Well, uh, the weight this for 425. Uh, quite a good part of the day. Almost the So now we're down to one priest and one archer. Two pounds of spam will only carry you so far as the longbow archer will take advantage of the terrain. Now it decides not to go on the offensive yet again, so that's going to apply things to regen. One holy heal. Onto the gowned archer, so it is back to a four on four. Big damage shot from the blaze gun again, just isn't quite enough to keep everybody up and running. One of the, ooh, both of the priests now have gone down, so the monk finally getting in on the action. And the quick holy to drop this archer into about a third health. This combo with the knight will drop it. So we're down to a four on one, just waiting on the archer and this recently raised priest to go down. But he does get a holy off the time to res himself. An 85 damage shot has missed from the archer. And await this miss and triggers counter. So counter does come into play, although again, not a whole lot of damage behind it. Res back up to a 3 on 4. And a holy heal. And looks like we have a protect 2. Instead of trying to go after the final archer. Next to the regen action, the smack. So we're going to two on four yet again. And Protect has missed one of the archers. 282 damage shot from the power. Find the holy should make it down to a one man game. And it does. Monk continues to hang forward. 88 damage shot from the archer. Not a whole lot behind it. Paladin will slowly get into range to lay the smacketh down. Summoners can continue to summon. One of the pieces died, and due to a critical, the other one follows. So round two goes to cheat as well. Good game.